Hi guys, in uh, today's video, I will show you how to install um, NetCloud plugin uh, on uh, Freenest 11.43. If you subscribe to my channel or um, if you watch my video before, I did a tutorial on um, how to install NetCloud on uh, Freenest 11.42 and Enforce HTTPS. This is uh, the same tutorial, but it's just a better version of it. I learned a lot from uh, the last tutorial, so this is a more improved uh, tutorial. All right, let's get started. So all you should have to do is click on the uh, next cloud and we're going to install it. And uh, do not use NAT. If you use NAT, uh, you will have to add the um, next cloud automatically going to use the NAT address for the trusted domain. Uh, and uh, you're not going to able to uh, access NetCloud until you add the actual IP address uh, into um, into the um, NetCloud uh, configuration uh, file. So we're going to use DXCP and we're going to give it a name, just symbol, call it NetCloud. You can name it whatever you want. And uh, that's it. You have an option to uh, do a static IP. Uh, the issue with static IP is that if you want to expand your IP uh, range in future or you want to change uh, the um, IP address, uh, shift it around like either now 10, uh, 10 for, uh, 001 or 192 .1 uh it it's just a time consuming to go to every single device and changes if you have a um, router or um, like a dxcp server at home or you just have to do a set the uh, uh, ip reservation for the the mac address basically you assign ip address to that uh, mac address and every time it connected to uh, and requesting the ip address from dxcp servers uh, you automatically um, get the same IP address every time. In the way, the same like uh, setting a static IP address. All right, now that we have uh, Nextcloud installed on um, FreeNAS, all right, and it should be automatically uh, started already easy and uh, in the uh, free nest event 11.43 there's a post in tools uh, notes instead of just uh, show it up one time and some of you who might forgot to uh, copy and paste they actually make the post install note right here so basically they already set up the database name and uh, users and um, password for you guys and uh, they also create the uh, default admin users and uh, default admin password for you. So whoever maintain the um, plugin, uh, make it a little bit simpler for um, beginner users. So we don't have to uh, set up the database and creating the new users. Make it a lot quicker now. All right, and with that, uh, we're gonna log on and uh, command prompt and we're gonna go to uh, log in the, to the um, free NAS via edit edge and uh, we're gonna turn it into the IOK console um, to NetCloud so we can uh, make some changes to the NetCloud configuration file and before you do that uh, Make sure that you have um, Edit Edge service enabled. And uh, if if you uh, do not know how to use uh, Edit Edge, just follow uh, look for one of my tutorial. I have a tutorial I'll show you how to use uh, Edit Edge. All right, let's go back to plugins and. Let's go back to the command from uh, console. All right, let's log in.
for those that doesn't have the um, DNS at home, you can change the the um, FQDN fully qualified domain name to your uh, IP address. So just uh, edit edge your username and at um, the IP address. It should work the same way. And uh, if you see the percentage size after Freenet, it means that I'm not logging in with the root users. So another um, to modify the config configuration file, I would make a root users. So the issue for uh, super users, that's gonna escalate the privilege. Uh, and we're gonna have a root uh, or admin access. There we go. So now it's become root at uh, Freenet. And uh, we're gonna log in on. Uh, we're gonna access the NetCloud IOK console. By the way, all the um, command uh, I will include all the command in the text file, just like the last uh, video tutorial. So you can just copy and paste, make it a little bit uh, easier for you guys. Uh, first thing we're gonna do a uh, package update so we're gonna need the um, nano uh, text editor to uh, make changes to configuration file uh, so by default um, freeness if uh, you read up on the um, user guide I believe or on their website freeness actually uh, the underlying operating system is the free BSD Within FreePSD, they have VI text editor, or same as in uh, uh, Linux. However, VI text editor for beginner. If you don't know how to use this, uh, it might uh, you might actually messes up the configuration file. So to make it easier, uh, I want to do the extra uh, extra step and have you install the Nano text editors, make life a little bit easier. But for those um, not the beginner or like uh, FreeBSD or Mac, even uh, Linux users, you can use a VI text editor. You can skip this step, make it a little bit faster for you. All right, our next step is uh, to install the Nano text editor. All right, now that we have a uh, nano text editor installed, we're gonna change directory and then CD go back to um, the root directory, and we're gonna make a new uh, folder to store the um, open SSL certificate. And then we're gonna change the directory uh, to the um, folder that we just made. And we're gonna generate a um, cell size certificate. So if you want uh, changes, if you have a uh, the DNS at home and you want to change it uh, to your domain name, that's fine. Or if you don't, just click as a next cloud key or you can name it whatever you want. If you do, just make sure that you change the name um, for dot key and dot uh, CTR at the same time. And enter. And it's going to generate a key, country name. Just uh, provide uh, all the information is asked for. This is just the information that they're gonna show in uh, your cell size certificate so you can put re really like uh, whatever in here that's why
All right, now that we have the self-sized certificate, next step is to modify the permission. And we're gonna do a user list command to uh, check to see the permission already changed, and yet it does. All right, our next step is to modify the ngINX uh, configuration file using a nano text editor. So we're going to open up the ngINX configuration file. And here we go, we're going to copy and paste the setting under the basic setting. If uh, you mess something up in the config file, just like I did, uh, all you just have to do is uh, click on Control X, and you're gonna say N for no, and you're gonna access the config uh, config file again. Here we go, nothing changed. I'm gonna go ahead and, and paste uh, the setting again. Here we go. So this is a server setting. What it does, it's it gonna listen for uh, port AD, which is a uh, default for HTTP, and uh, the other AD is a uh, default for uh, HTTP, but on uh, under IPv6, the first one is IPv4, and it's gonna return um, the HTTPS. Uh, it's gonna redirect the HTTPS address, and whatever the host gonna be. Uh, I know this is not the good uh, setting for the actual servers. This is for home use, it's perfectly fine, but uh, for the actual uh, server, the one that's going to be open to the internet, please do not use this setting. This is not for um, for you to use. Uh, it can cause some uh, security issues. And uh, that's it. We're going to control X and yes, enter to set the configuration file. And the next step is to modify the NetCloud uh, config file using a nano tech editor too. And we're gonna remove the default setting right here and we're gonna replace this with um, the setting in the text file. Alright. And I'm gonna copy and paste. There we go. So server is gonna listen to um, IPv4 uh, 443 or the HTTPS, or uh, it's gonna listen to 443 IPv6 HTTPS. And it's gonna using the SSL certificate, the one that we generated using Open um, SSL. And uh, SSL section timeout gonna set to 120 uh, minute, and the section cache can set to uh, 16 minute. The protocol gonna set to um, TLS version one, one four one, and one four two. And that's it. We're gonna uh, set the file. Control X to access and yes, and enter to save it. And that pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna close out the um, command prompt and we're gonna restart uh, NetCloud. Okay, and notice right here at HTTP uh, 10.13.43.420, we'll click on manage. And because I already logged in earlier um, with the same IP address, so it's automatically logged me in. But notice right here, it's automatically redirect you to HTTPS by uh, HTTP. And uh, we can try with the FQDN. It's just the next cloud. Here we go. And um, it automatically redirects you to HTTPS also. 
and uh, with that uh, wrap up uh, my uh, today tutorial thank you for watching guys and uh, like always if you have any issue leave it in the comment below and uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial